Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today we are going to be showing off the entries for the Discord contest. Now this contest was all about the military creations, it was a really open contest, I let you guys just do whatever you wanted as far as military creations, and I have narrowed it down to 10 creations that I think are pretty fantastic. So Bob, he's actually really happy today. He gets to actually judge a competition, which I'm pretty sure Bob's never done that before. So he's pretty stoked about that. He's gonna go over all these creations here. Now there will be a vote for these creations. It'll be down in the description or probably in the pinned comment. It'll be a straw poll. So be sure to vote on your favorite creation after the episode here and the winner will get the Elite Builders role in the Discord. So anyways, we're going to need to jump right into this because we have 10 awesome creations to check out here. And Bob's super excited. He's probably going to blow up some buildings. Probably going to crash these creations. So anyways, if you are enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe leave this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into this. Alright, we are ready for our first creation here. We have the Stingray Fighter for Komodo. This is built by Mr. Bat Duck. Uh, he says it's a fast, agile fighter inspired by the early jet fighters like the HE-162. It's got machine guns, or it's got a large machine gun, four small machine guns, uh, a tank cannon, air brakes, missiles. What the heck? This thing's got everything. And this is actually a compact fighter, so let's go ahead and spawn it out here and check this out. This was made for Komodo. Maybe we need to make a Bob version of this. I'd love to see Bob on the side of it. We'll just use like the gray and red. Oh, this looks fantastic. I love the colors. I like how compact it is. Now, question is, how does it fly? Like, I, I'm not sure exactly what we're all judging on here since the creations are wildly different. They all have different functions. Uh, visually, they're all different and yeah. I'm going to have to judge this one off the flying too, so let's go ahead, let's crank her up here. It is a jet, so I'm not the best at flying these jets. Let's go ahead and correct the camera. But we'll see how good this one flies here. Alright, here we go. Dude, it lifts right off the ground! That's so awesome! Oh, wow, this thing is really agile. Wow. I feel like we could use this thing in a challenge. Look at this. This is great. Let's go ahead and go in between the buildings here. Show some of Bob's expert flying. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no! <laughs> I spoke way too soon on that. That was my fault. That wasn't that wasn't the plane's fault. I, I can assure you that. <laughs> that was Bob. He was getting a little excited. He was like, "Man, I'm a good pilot," and he decided to crash it. All right, so we need to test out the some of the functions real quick. Let's go ahead. These are machine guns, and I think the cannon goes off with that button too. Yeah, you see that solid shot went off too. It's got missiles, but I didn't see a way to ignite them. So it says middle mouse button. To me, that might be like a bomb. Uh, let's go ahead and find a building here. Uh, we're going to kind of hover over there a little bit or glide. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the bombs real quick. There they go. All right, so those are going to go off. Let's go ahead and speed up time here. Slow it back down. I want to see if they, uh, maybe if they actually explode. There they are right there. Okay, here we go. Resume time. Oh, <laughs> just kind of bounced. I don't wonder if there's a way to ignite those. And up, oh, oh, there goes creation. Uh, that's pretty cool, though. There probably is. It might not have just gone off there. Uh, let's go ahead and go back into here. Got a couple more things I want to test out before we move on to the next one. Uh, I'm going to have to go through these creations fairly quick. So if I don't pay a bunch of attention to one, it's just because I need to get through these. That way you guys can... Uh, can see all the creations and actually vote on them. But I must say, this is actually quite impressive from Mr. Bat Duck. I love the creation. I love the style, the colors, everything about it. But anyways, I think it is time to go ahead and move on to the next creation here. Alright, so the next creation is by Mining Cooper 53 This is a army truck. This looks like a deuce and a half. It might have a... Oh, it's got like a little mini gun on the back of it. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and spawn this and... Oh! Okay, this actually isn't that big. This is like a, a mini deuce and a half. I don't know if this would be a deuce and a half. Maybe this, this probably isn't that heavy. Uh, this is kind of cool. I like the details. Uh, that was one of the reasons I picked this creation in particular. Uh, we had about, I think, 15 or 16 creations. I had to cut some of them uh, since the contest told me I had to. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Does the gun on the back move is the question. Let's go into alt mode. Uh, 
It might not. No, it, there is an actuator on it. Uh, but I don't know if that actually does anything. Alright, so yeah, it does fire. So you've got that going for it. Kind of wish the turret itself would turn. Uh, what kind of gun is that? How powerful is it? Uh, light up the fuel tanks, Bob. There we go. Bob's destructive power. Uh, it does have a winch on the front of it, too, so uh, this could be a useful vehicle to kind of tow around. And Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pretty cool. Surprisingly, it is stable. I love how this thing feels. It's like the weight is all down at the bottom because I'm turning as far as it will go over, and this thing has not tipped. Uh, you would think this looks a little bit on the top-heavy side. Uh, you see some of the details. You got the antenna in the front. The grill looks nice. I like the way he shaped the uh, the front end of it. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and run it into a building because that's what Bob likes to do. It's Bob's job here. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> what? The back wheel popped off. <laughs> and the antenna popped off. That was it. This is a strong little vehicle. This is a tough cookie. Oh, I actually kind of really li like the more I play with this, the more I like this creation. Yeah, I like that a lot. I want to thank Mr. Mining Cooper for sending this over. Pretty detailed little creation. If you want to vote on him, that will be down below. But I think it's time to move on to the next creation here. All right, so the next creation here is by Dragons2002. It's nice seeing a scrap mechanic player over here building in brick rigs. And this is the Gustav Cannon. I believe I'm saying that right. Now, this thing is not to scale to the real one. Uh, do yourself a favor here in a little bit and Google this thing. This is one of the most frightening looking cannons I've ever seen. It's like a rail cannon and oh boy. So yeah, he's got a version of it here. It's not extremely huge, but it's pretty big. Oh yeah, uh, that's actually quite big. But yeah, this is a cannon. It's uh, normally on rail railways. Uh, the human size or like the human comparison to this thing in real life uh, the human's probably no bigger than one of the little tires down there. Uh, this thing is frightening. And I must say, the uh, the model he's done here is actually quite nice looking. I really like this. Uh, does it turn? Oh, it does turn. That's surprising. So yeah, it's like four big little sets of, uh, I would say, tank tracks under there. You've got the big cannon itself. Uh, let's see, does the cannon fire? I would assume it does. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, that fires. Oh, I bet you we could probably hit the city from here. Uh, does this thing move? Uh, let's see. It's bound to move. Is there an actuator here? Yeah, there is. Uh, let's see. Let's go into, uh, the alt mode. There it goes. Now, this cannon, I don't know if the cannon in real life turned. Can we hit that building? Oh, that is way high. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious if this cannon actually turned in real life. I don't think it did. I think you had to pretty much aim it in the direction <laughs> that you were going to shoot. Uh, let's go ahead and move this thing down a bit. There we go. Trying to hit the skyscraper over there. Uh, we're getting close. The uh, cannon has some drop to it. Oh, that was really close. Are we off to the right a bit? Let's go ahead and move over. Oh, this is so fun. This is cool. All right, let's move that. Let's move it down just a bit. Oh, I hit it that time. Wow, that took so long to travel all that ways. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, that's so awesome. Man, you can have a really long range battle with this thing. You know, this thing's got a surprising amount of pickup to it. It's got like a drag motor in it or something. Let's go, uh, let's cause a little bit of chaos here. Let's go ahead and lower the gun a bit. There we go. There we go. Blow up the city. Come on, Bob. Let's do this. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. I think it's actually quite tough. Oh, there's where the, the driver sits. Oh, he sits right in... Oh, he's behind the engine there. That's cool looking. You know, one thing we got to test out on this. Since it's so massive, we got to let the train hit it real quick. Let's go ahead and do that. I want to see, uh, let's say, cannon versus train here. All right. The ultimate showdown of railway power. Here comes the train. <laughs> What? It just bounced off. Hold on. Uh, let's set it. Uh, let's set it across it real quick. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> that train is so tough. One day, one day we'll be able to destroy that train. But anyways, that is by Dragons 2002. That is a fantastic looking cannon. But yeah, we're gonna move on to the next creation here. Okay, so the next one's called the Flying Jeep, the AKA the Hafter. Rotobuggy? 
Now, this is a real thing. I had to look at it for a second. He actually has some of the pictures of the real one in the workshop description. Uh, this is by Alpha. I always get his name. I think it's Gyarados. I kept saying Gyarados. Uh, this is the guy who created Godzilla. This is the guy who created the dragons. He's an amazing Rickrix creator. And uh, he's created this for the competition. Now, supposedly this has the helicopter controls on it. It's a prototype vehicle. Uh, made by the British during World War II. So, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, that's insane looking. Would you actually trust getting in something like this? It's like you got Jeep in the front, helicopter in the back. This is scary. All right. <laughs> okay, so does this thing have like a just a drive mode? Let's go ahead and hit Alt. Okay, Alt feels like a flying. It does drive. I guess you have to keep the uh, propellers activated. So you've got that. Actually quite a bit of detail on the Jeep. The Jeep itself looks very nice. So you've got that. You've got the uh, the flying in the back. I guess we should go ahead and just take this thing off and see how it handles. Let's get the camera in position. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Up, 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 up. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, that took a little bit for me to get in the air. Uh, but it's starting to stabilize here. Feels like the front end's trying to pick up a bit. Let's go ahead. I'm trying to figure out, okay, so the throttle is actually thrusters. That's going to make you go forward. Uh, you kind of have to hold the nose up. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> hey. Wait, what? It's like it just corrected itself. That's actually quite frightening. All right. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm not the best uh, helicopter pilot. I always notice that uh, helicopters are really kind of fidgety to me in brick rigs. There's a couple out there that are really stable, but normally they're really big. And oh boy, come on! All right, maybe we'll just bounce off the ground. Oh, we didn't just bounce off the ground that time. All right, we need to give this thing a, a fair takeoff here. And oh, what the heck? Where is that going? All right, Bob's gone over the instructions just a bit more here, and we're gonna take it off from the uh, skyscraper here. This is surprisingly stable feeling. Takes a little bit of getting used to. It feels a little bit different than your normal helicopter, and it's not just because it's a Jeep. Just control scheme wise, it's a little different. You have to be a uh, you have to be kind of light on the controls. I noticed, and uh, when you press forward on one of the sticks, it actually activates a thruster. To, I guess to keep the nose up. Uh, but other than that, it feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, hit the actual trigger here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Come on, Bob! Come on, Bob! Save it! Save it, Bob! Save it! Save it! Oh! <gasps> Ah, just kissed the building. We just kissed it. There we go. Bob the expert pilot. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing pointed back towards the city here. Ah, uh, this thing is actually quite satisfying to fly around. I wonder if we can barely kiss the ground again. There we go. Activate those. Get that pointed up. Come on. Land it. Land it. That was close. And then we'll just take right back off. Yeah, this is a cool creation. Uh, this is definitely one of the... I would say it's a, a little bit of an odd creation. I didn't even know this thing existed until I saw it in his description and saw the actual picture. So, uh, definitely a unique military creation here. But anyways, I think it is time to run on to the next one. Let's go ahead and just dump this thing in the city real quick. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I had to slow it down right before we hit the building there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Throttle stuck, throttle stuck! All right, that is a uh, that's quite frightening, but yeah, let's go on to the next creation. Okay, so if you watch me spy and OB play together, we, sometimes we do these little mini challenges. We've done some mini tank battles, and this is a miniature M1 Abrams made by Sky the Man 32. We've checked out Sky's creations before. Amazing Brick Rigs creator here, and let's see, what does this look like? You know, we've been doing a micro city and scrap mechanic. It kind of reminds me of something like that. Uh, how small is this? Oh, it's so cute. Hold on. Let Bob step beside it. Could you imagine if you had like a little car this size that you could drive around? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, even the tank steering feels quite nice in this. I like this. I like this a lot. Look at the detail. It is a lot of detail for the size here. He's even got a little bit of a uh, riding on the side. He's using, uh, I'm assuming that's either an armor material or a metal material. So you got that. Oh, it fires. Oh, well, I guess you can't fit a cannon on this thing, can you? Or could you? Maybe it's just because of the barrel he's using. I was kind of expecting a big explosion. Oh, the turret works. All right, so you got the turret works. The gun barrel actually moves up and down. 
It's got like a little mini uh, gun on the top of it where the uh, the hatch is. That doesn't actually fire, it's just cosmetic. Uh, let's go ahead and run over here. Let's see what kind of speed this thing has. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Uh, we might do some more mini stuff here in the future. Uh, I almost kind of want a mini military base in the micro, uh, the micro city and scrap mechanic. Alright, here we go. This thing's got all the speed. Bob is the speed demon of tanks here. This thing is actually quite fast. It's kind of frightening. What happens if we hit this? Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what I expected to happen, but I didn't expect it to be that violent. Like, Bob got thrown into the... <laughs> Bob is curled up. He just got thrown into the ground. Uh, where's the guns? Oh, never mind. It was still going off. Wow. That was much a uh, bigger explosion than I expected there. That is a cool little creation. Like, there's just so much detail in such a little area. I've grown to really like stuff like this because that is a, it takes a little bit to do. That's not very easy to get these little tiny pieces to make it look right. Like, even the little tail lights in the back, how they're kind of dug into the creation a bit. Uh, that is definitely very awesome. I want to thank Mr. Sky for sending this over. Okay, so for the next creation, we have the M1A2 Abrams. This is by ECA001. I must say, I saw this a little bit before. I was actually fairly impressed. Check this out. This is a pretty cool tank. Uh, it's the M1 Abrams. It's a fairly modern tank here. It looks like it's got working guns all over it. This is going to be cool. Let's go ahead and spawn this. It's 700 and what? <laughs> Okay, uh, apparently Bob clicked the uh, the mouse button a little bit too quick and he immediately blew down a building. Dude, look at the details of this. This is cool. You know, we just had a mini one of these. Now we have the full size one. Let's go ahead, adjust this. Oh yeah, check that out. Let's blow this building apart real quick. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's too close to it. It's too close. No, Bob, no. <laughs> okay, let's set that back up. Alright, so it shoots, and there's all your guns. Uh, it's kind of cool, so wherever you look with the camera, the top turret moves. Which, that's pretty awesome. So, I think if you switch camera modes here... Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the, I guess, the pilot or the gunner. Okay, so here's this. So, you can actually... That is so neat. So, if you go to this camera mode, you're only controlling the top gun, but you can aim exactly where you want to go with it. Got that, I don't know what camera that is, and then you've got the outside camera. That is awesome. This is probably one of the best tanks that I've seen in a long time. Oh yeah, let's go ahead, Bob's gonna shoot. Let's see, how far does the turret, it's full 360, how far does it move up? Wow, that moves up quite a bit, and also the, uh, the gun aims towards it too, so you can keep that firing. This would be a really good tank for some multiplayer battles. Oh yeah. There we go. Tank's doing a little bit of tank drifting. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Uh, here comes the train. All right, I'm gonna take down the train this time. Uh, come on, train. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're gonna miss the train. We missed the train. Oh, we can't allow, allow that to happen. We always have to see what everything looks like when it blows up with the train. Okay, let's set this here. All right, this is gonna be tanks versus trains. Come here, train. Come on. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, 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 whoa. Wow, that was an immediate explosion. I, that was actually really satisfying to see there. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite tanks. This is really awesome. Uh, next time we decide to do a tank battle, I've always been using a lot of World War II tanks, but I think it's time to go modern. It really helps that it's got all these extra guns on it. So yeah, that's definitely an awesome creation. I want to thank ECA001 for sending that over. And let's go to the next creation. Alright, so the next creation is by Car Crusher Creative. It's the 1985 Decker Militarian. I believe I'm saying that right. This doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. It's like Jeep in the front, kind of SUV in the back. I don't wonder if this is something uh, maybe that generals and stuff rode around in. This just looks a little bit more fancy. Uh, than your standard jeeps in the military. Uh, it's even got like these, uh, I don't know if those are going to be roll bars, or maybe it's like a big sunroof. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn this. This is cool. I like the scaling on this one. It's actually, uh, feels right for Bob size. Like some of these vehicles you get, they're a little too big, and then some you get are a little too small. 
And we all know uh, Car Cr Crusher Creative, he does quite a bit of Brick Rigs creations. So we know it's going to drive good. This is a nice creation, actually. Let's go ahead and light it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you can fit you and five other bobs here. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and drive this thing into the city real quick. We'll do a little bit of testing on this. Uh, since there isn't really any functions as far as weapons or anything, uh, we can at least test it out and see how it drives. All right, Bob's doing a little bit of testing here. Seeing how this thing handles. This handles actually pretty good. It has a little bit of a power slide to it. That's uh, nice. Uh, this creation to me would work really good in conquest mode. Say you load up five other Bob's and you drop them off at the different map points. It's just fast enough. I think you can outrun a lot of uh, tank fire. Uh, it would be nice to see a little gun on this. Of course, this is a replica of something else uh, completely, so maybe it doesn't have a gun on it in real life. But uh, it's a cool creation. like the way it looks. A uh, lot of detail uh, as far as the front goes. You got the Jeep front. You got the nice little chrome bumper in the back. Uh, just little details like that are always nice. Seeing somebody change the materials and stuff like that. Uh, the inside, uh, let's see. What does the camera look like in here? Not too bad, it actually sets in a pretty decent spot. I'm assuming that's just the bob cam though. There we go. Speed around here. You know, I feel like we need to tear this thing up. Like, it's always expected of me to crash and blow up creations. So we're gonna take this thing out to the train and see what happens there. Bob's gonna get absolutely annihilated. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so we know it is a bit top heavy. Uh, that is to be expected with a creation like this and Bob just Skipped it over the curves here. Ah, oh, there's a train coming. Oh no, Bob, what is going on? Oh, we're gonna high center on the track here. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, here we go, here we go. What is up with Creations these days? You remember when Creations, when they would get hit by the train, they would explode for the most part? You guys are building these way too tough now. That is amazing. Hold on, let's, uh, let's do a head-on collision real quick and see what happens. That is a... Uh, that's so awesome seeing that you guys can build these to withstand the train. It's like you built it with me in mind and the train. Oh, there we go. Oh, even then, just skimmed off the front of the vehicle. Oh, it's on fire. Bob, you might want to get out of that. That's not good. Yep, Bob's on fire. Oh, yep. Wow. They ended it with a bang. So, nice creation. But anyways, I think we are ready to move on to the next one. Uh, Bob, you might want to put yourself out before we go to the next one. All right, so the next one is a military Jeep by Kirby. He's also a, uh, he's normally a scrap mechanic builder, so I think he's kind of new to the Brick Rigs game. But he's created something, and the reason I picked this out, it's a unique looking Jeep. Like, to me, this doesn't look like a real Jeep. This looks like a off-road, exaggerated looking Jeep. It's got this spare tire on the back, got the camo. It's almost like a chromed out camo, too. This doesn't look like something necessarily you would be or drive around in the military. It's almost like something you would show off to your friends. Look at the shininess of that camo. So yeah, you've got that. It's got a winch on the front. Uh, it's got the really big off-road wheels. Like I said, you got the spare in the back. I don't know. There's just something about it that I actually kind of like it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, come on, Bob. Bob, you got to drive better than that. Oh, the, oh, Bob's head's in the ground. Oh, that's, that's something. Okay, let's go ahead and set that back up. Uh, I feel like this thing could probably conquer some hills, so let's go back to this hilly area real quick and test this thing out and see uh, see how Kirby's uh, creations are here in Brick Rigs. Alright, here we go, here we go. Wee! 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 Oh! <laughs> oh, blue tires on the way down. Hey, Bob survived that. That's actually kind of fun to do. You know, we need more maps like this. We just need these hills that are gradual. Instead of like the cliffs and without rocks, that way you can run them over. And maybe he needs to add some sand dunes or something. Maybe like a sand dune map. So you can get like off-road, uh, say, sand rails or buggies and really test them out. But this is actually kind of fun. This vehicle's doing a pretty good job. Up, oh, up. Oh, I think it just blew a tire. Nope, we're good. Uh, we lost a part of the bumper on the front. Okay, one last hill bomb and then we're going to move on to the next creation. There we go. Uh, we're going to hit the other one here. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh, the heck? <laughs> okay, the engine might be a little too far in the front. I mean, it's kind of in its normal spot, but it bottomed out and blew up, and it's now glitching through the bottom of the creation. We've caught the grass on fire, too. The lovely grass. Uh, Bob's okay, though. Bob survived that. He's happy. All right, let's move on to the next creation.
All right, so the next creation looks pretty cool. This is the Military Quad by Noxious Fumes. Uh, apparently, I think it handles like a helicopter, like a normal one. It's got the helicopter controls, and you got the action one for the MG, and there's a tank gun on this. Now, check this thing out, though. Look at this. That is wild looking. It's got the channel colors on it. It's got the four little blades at the top. Uh, the pilot, he actually sits right there. It's loaded with guns. You've got the four on the top, and then you got the four cannons on the bottom. This is a mean looking creation. Let's go ahead and spawn it. And it's actually quite compact. Like, this isn't as big as it looks like on the uh, the picture. So, let's see. How does this work? All right, we have no controls on the ground, of course. Uh, we need to go into alt mode here. Let's go set this out on the uh, the runway because I'm afraid I'm going to hit the building immediately. So let's do that. There we go. All right, we are ready to fire this up. Let's see how this thing works. Let's go ahead and hit the alt mode. Uh oh, uh oh, got to counter it. Oh, here we go, dude. That is cool. All right. Let's see how this thing flies. Give it some more gas here. That is sweet. Wow, that is stable. I don't think I've ever seen something like this. I know I've seen some like quadcopters. I've tried out a couple, and I've, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't a, a big fan, and uh oh, I might have been way too aggressive there with the turning. Oh no! Oh look, there goes one of the blades. Does it still fly with three? No, it doesn't. All right, that was my fault there. I was way too aggressive on that. Let's, uh, let's reset real quick. Ah, here we go. But yeah, uh, normally I don't like the way these things fly, but this one is super stable. You can't be too aggressive, though. Like most helicopters and brick rigs, if you uh, really go crazy on the controls, you are going to have a bad day. But, okay, there's the guns there. Action 2, would that be middle mouse? Oh, it is. Whoa! It actually moves the creation when you shoot those cannons. Check this out. So when you shoot them, <laughs> it shifts it down. <laughs> oh, that is a bringer of destruction, though. Huh? Let's try to hit the building here. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. All right, let's gas it up. This might be a, a good copter to use for multiplayer uh, battles. This thing's super stable and easy to control. Uh, let's go ahead and fire that. Oh, that still throws me off every time. You got to prepare for that. See, I need to set my remote up uh, to have the middle mouse button. I normally play with an Xbox One remote for flying creations. And I've got the gun set to a bumper, so I can fire them very easy, but I have to move to the middle mouse to release bombs. I need to set that up here on the controller. That way you can counter, because this thing does shift uh, whenever you hit those bottom cannons. It's kind of violent, but yeah, I need to get used to that. Oh, 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 there's a building behind us here. Oh, look at that. We just kind of backed over the building. Oh, boy. All right, let's turn this way. Yeah, you've got to be, you've got to prepare. If you're going to be really aggressive with the turning, it tends to shift it backwards. Uh, but you can save it. You just got to be uh, on and off the throttle here. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. I love this creation. Oh, and that, it does help that it has the Komodo colors on it. Of course, I'm not voting. Uh, this is going to be completely up to you guys, so you, the viewers, need to vote. Uh, let's chase down the train here. Hello, Mr. Train. Coming after you. Up. Oh, okay, I can't quite keep up with you. Dang it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and blow this thing up. <laughs> I've got to see stuff blow up, and I think this might look kind of cool. So let's set it on the train tracks here. Oh, no. <laughs> Even the quadcopter's like, nope, not doing that. Oh, i got to turn off the alt mode. <laughs> Let's go ahead, set it back here, and right about there, turn off alt mode. Oh, it destroyed itself already. Oh, yeah, these creations, oh, oh, that was violent. Well, Bob got flung from the copter and he got run over by the train. Oh, that was really cool. Thanks to Noxious Fumes for sending that over. And we've got one last creation to check out. All right, for the last creation here, we have a World War II deuce and a half. This is made by AKA GFX or Graphics, probably. Uh, this looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and spawn this. This is actually a little bit bigger uh, than a lot of the trucks that we've tried here today. Yeah, this one looks like it's, uh, I don't know, I think this is to scale to Bob. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger than Bob. Uh, this is a cool creation because it's like trailer ready. You've got the uh, little actuator or the coupling in the back. It uh, would be even more awesome if you could put some seats back here. This could be a... Actually, I don't know if this is going to be a conquest vehicle. This thing is a, a little bit on the slow side. I think it'll pick up some momentum here. I love the stacks there. You've got the uh, the black smoke pouring out those. 
Uh, the detail is actually quite nice. Go and turn on them lights there. Oh yeah. I like how he did the uh, the canopy too. Uh, you could have just done like a straight piece across, but he actually added detail. You can see the bars there and see where the, the canopy is kind of drooping down. That in, in itself is actually pretty good on the detail front. The deuce and a half. Oh uh, yeah. Up, up, up. I thought I was going to be able to two wheel it there. Wait, what? What the heck? We somehow kind of saved that. We only broke off part of the smokestack, damaged a little bit of the canopy, and we lost a light there. Let's go ahead and head back this way. Try to test how this thing drives. It drives, uh, it's got a wide turning radius. We'll just call it that. This thing is heavy, and you can feel it. This is one of the heavier creations I've felt in Brick Rigs. I don't know what the materials, you can see, it looks like a metal material there on the, uh, the floor. And on the side of this thing, it does feel quite heavy. So let's go ahead and go off-roading a bit and test it. Uh, probably going to let this thing get hit by the train. If it's like any of the other creations you guys have sent me, this is it's going to be just really tough. It's going to be almost impossible to completely destroy. Uh, let's see. They need to have a setting where you can control the train speed on the map. That would be cool. Maybe set it to super speed and see what happens. Uh, let's see. It's going to turn it. Yeah, if you don't turn too uh, sharp with this thing, it doesn't tip over. Uh, it does look a bit top-heavy, but I think some of the, the metal weight in the bottom's helping it. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, head on hit! <laughs> it just bounces off! Oh, oh, what the heck? Okay, we're gonna take a ride. Oh boy! Thought we were gonna take a ride with the train there. Oh, Bob just fell out. Bob has perished. Bob's in his, uh, he's in his... It looks like a dancing pose. He's got the one leg. Oh, never mind. His leg's broken. <laughs> oh, oh, and it's on fire, too. That's a pretty cool little creation. It's heavy. It turns like a tank, but the detail is there, and the scaling to me is there. I like the scale of this one. Uh, definitely, if you stuck some seats there in the back, that would be pretty cool. And if you can find a way to get it a little bit faster, this might be a cool little conquest vehicle. Maybe you and your squad can roll around in the map, and you can drop them off at the flag points. But anyways, that is the last creation here in the Brick Rigs Discord competition. Uh, do remember to vote down below. There will be a straw poll link. Uh, just vote on your favorite one, and we will announce the winner here in about a week. We'll announce the winner. But we will be having some uh, normal Brick Rigs episodes coming up soon. i got some solos. i got some surprises coming up soon, too. I think you guys are going to be pretty happy about here in Brick Rigs. So we'll be doing that, be doing some more Scrap Mechanic, Beam NG, got some Stormworks on the way, City Skylines, got quite a bit coming here to the channel here really soon. But I want to thank you guys for enjoying the Brick Rig series with me. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.